do we call them? Uh, victims of uh, squatters. Yes. Citizens are living like squatters and refugees. The government, yesterday I saw Aaron Cheruyot Kenya Kwanza tournament in Kerich. They landed with a bunch of notes. The deputy speaker is telling Kenyans to tighten their safety belts. We are a Mideast a turbulent sea. But with them, they are living like kings in Dubai. Where are you getting that money? Why do you think we have the monolithic patience to sit and wait for you mismanage our lifetime, as our we social watch. welfare as we watch? Mm. Never. There comes a time that even the most patient person develops impatience. And an impatient, angry man is equal, equivalent to troubles. Providing security to the people do not mean deploying police in the streets to work with the guns and etc. Security narrows down even to consumption. We have seen instances where the credible uh, edible oil that I've been talking about, the substantive, uh, substandard aspect, why would you import a poisonous product for the people to consume? The Kenya Bureau of Standards also told us that Quality checks depends on you. Cabs, uh, stickers do not justify quantity, uh, quality of the standards uh, that you are going to consume. So in which, uh, in which country are we living in? We are living in a country where you ask a police about security issue, they don't know. You ask a cab officer why a substandard uh, commodities in the market, they tell you the responsibility begins with you. We are having a government that you are being swept by floods. They are telling you, stop going to where the floods are. And the floods found you there. We don't have a country here. So as I wind up, I would say, for the interest of democracy, the rule of law, that there shall come a time that no one will speak to the people in a language they will understand. I'm not preempting anything funny, but the writings are on the wall. The people are tired. The people are angry. This is the time the president should humble himself like he used to take Uji and Gideri with Mamamboga and Watwa Boda Boda. He should visit those Baba, uh, Boda Boda guys and ask them, what is the cost of fuel? What is the cost of this? My grandma used to tell me that during President Kenyatta's, that is Jomo Kenyatta's re regime, people used to walk in plain clothes in retail shops. They would buy, ask for a price of sugar, and buy. They would uh, compare it with the government regulated price. If you go against that, they would arrest you. Here we have a scenario where cartels are importing sugar, repackaging them in existing company brands, then selling poisonous sugar to the people of Kenya. Kebs is watching. They are telling us they are powerless. KRA is there just to take money. I mean, we are taking this country for a ride. And not for so long will this continue? Whatever begins must end. The ending depends on the circumstances that prevail the actual ending. I'm not preempting anything, but I'm just saying it will, we, it will be taken as it comes. So I want to advise the president that you are the commander in chief. You have the power to hire and fire. A minister, an economic advisor, you know, by the way, it is in the records that David Ndi, who is one of the economic advisors to the president, called our president a thief severally on his tweets. Today he says it's not going to be uh, accountable to lies and etc. The problem facing President Ruto is that he is working with people who do not believe in him. That is the problem. David Ndi suspects him. David Ndi advises him. The, all these people, Alfred Mutua, said everything about the president. So it is not a matter of politics. We are looking at the morality, the fairness in the uh, statements you make against someone. Some may be derogatory, destructive, but at the end of the day, what those people say they are actually manifesting. They no longer care for anything. So I want to urge the entire people of Kenya that you choose to be calm. I'm not telling anyone to do anything. Do what you feel is right for you, but never entertain impunity, never entertain corruption, never entertain illegalities, because we are the people of Kenya and this country belongs to us. 
we just donate a piece of power to some of the few individuals to do run our errands on our behalfs as the bosses, as we fund them, working overzealously to ensure that tax is paid. Now students are going to go to school in January. Parents and a lot of number are going not to report to school. It is a worrying state that even the university after allocation, various students fail to turn up for the colleges and university placement slots. We are just moving on as a country. We are just moving on, nothing is happening. What are we generating? Thugs. The problems in Haiti did not start as a miracle. Some of them started this way. So we must ensure that the right thing is done by the right person. If you can't do it, go away. You're not the only person living. Kenya has about 40 plus million people. Otherwise, I want to thank you. Any question?